Coach, whenever these two teams meet, it always feels like it's a great ball game. Talk about the finish there, the way your defense was able to get that important sack at the end. Oh, that was very important. We needed that, you know, um, to get that sack. You know, they were driving on us. Um, you know, every year we play these guys, it's always going to come down to the end. We made a crucial mistake down toward the end when we fumbled the ball going in to get up, you know, more than, than a touchdown. But, but, you know, hey, give it your credit. You had something going up with Booger T. Washington. They always play us tough. And it was a great game. James Cook had the decisive touchdown and then he fumbled later in the game. I know you guys didn't hand the ball off a ton to him. Is there a sort of a conscious effort to keep him fresh all season, you know, not give him too much of a workload? Yeah, that's the key. You know, we think we got enough backs and we want to put him out, you know, in some situation outside. But we also have to run the ball with him too. He'll get the low, he'll get to run the ball a little bit more throughout the season. Uh, Hicks, uh, your linebacker there, made some big plays earlier in the game as well. Very excited about what he did today. You know, he had to play multiple positions tonight. Not only just linebacker, but he also played defensive tackle, defensive end. And we needed a great game for him for us to win. Next week, you guys are going to Vegas. Talk about that trip and what it means to you. Oh, it means the world to us. You know, anytime you get a chance to play on the national stage, going up there 2-0, you know, playing against one of the top teams in the nation, you know, we, we, we got to have a better outing than we had this week, and we win. There's been some teams that have won national titles here. Talk about that and, and what it would mean to get one at Central. Even though you got all the state championships, you don't have that national title. Oh, that would mean a, a, a great deal to this program. You know, that's the only thing that we came up short with, you know, not trying, you know, not winning national championships. So if we win that game, they keep us in the hunt. All right, Coach, congrats. Thanks a lot. James, just uh, talk about being able to get this one against a rival, hey, Booker T. Um, I mean, it was a pretty tough one, um, but I mean, it's a rival game. Everybody going to kind of play hard, but we just got to keep kind of ready to work tomorrow and get better. You got you had the winning touchdown in the game, but then you also fumbled there at the end. I'm sure as a running back, those are the ones that kill you. Um, I mean, I just got to exist the butter and noise and keep working. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the recruiting process and, and where you're at now. Well, uh, Everybody that know signed early signing day. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the schools that you're really considering, did you really narrow it down yet? Not sure yet. Who's in the running? Um, UGA, Florida State. UGA, Florida State, you tell you the top two? Yeah. Okay. Take take me through what it's like being a running back on the team this season. You, I think you have one carry up until like the third quarter, but it seems like coach knows when, when it's winning time, he's got to go to you. Is that kind of the understanding you guys have? I mean, I mean, I'm a, I'm gonna do whatever to help my team win. Mm -hmm. So you okay with, with sort of waiting your turn behind some of those other guys, letting them you know get some early work? I mean, it's gonna be their turn next year. So mm -hmm. Just let them boys get the feeling of it and just see what how it is to get back there on, the, on this level and just let them boys do them.